Hi, this is Chris Reddick with Chris Reddick Financial Planning. In this blog post, I talk about pillars of a successful retirement under T TRS, or the Teachers Retirement System of Texas. All right, so there's this is actually listed on their uh, website. What are the three uh, pillars? And this is really for many types of pensions, right? So, you know, you can obviously, if you work in government, you can say, you save money in a pension, you get the annual annuity in, in monthly annuity in retirement, right? But there's other things as well to consider. So the first thing obviously is the TRS pension. So that's your monthly TRS contributions and then um, matches and so forth, right? From the state and then what you provide in. And there's, um, this gives you a monthly annuity, um, Basically, you get monthly income for your life, and then you can have a survivor's benefit, right? So that's the main thing. But the only problem with TRS, well, this is one problem in particular, is that as inflation increases, your monthly benefit does not keep up with inflation, okay? So um, as a cost of living, for example, as bread goes up, milk and stuff, as, as the prices of, you know, everyday goods go up, uh, TRS doesn't keep up um, to that. So when you start in retirement, um, you may get uh, perhaps maybe two thirds of your um, salary that you got maybe as a teacher, higher education worker, and then that's gonna roll over time as, as inflation increases. So um, that's one thing to take into account. Now, how do you contract this? The second pillar is actually saving beyond the TRS. So, for example, a 403B, 457, an individual retirement account or IRA, these are also essential for uh, financial security. So I always emphasize, don't just save in TRS, right? That's just one part of your retirement. You want to save in these other types of tax-deferred uh, plans. Um, so the idea here is you save in a 403B, 457, an IRA, and, and the money gr grows uh, tax-free, and then it comes out, you have to pay tax on it, but you get growth and compounding interest. You know, but this is a little more difficult with a pension, you just put the money in. When you're actually talking about retirement savings, you have to make a choice. Which uh, broker do you work with um, to, that will, um, where you would get the funds for to invest? Um, so this, and then retirement savings, is typically good to talk to a financial planner um, to kind of see what are the different options available for saving for retirement, because there's a lot out there. And the third and um, important pillar is actually Social Security. But there's a caveat with Social Security and TRS. So about 96% of public schools in Texas that are under TRS don't pay into Social Security, right? So as a result, this could reduce uh, your reduce or actually eliminate your monthly benefit because of these two provisions I talk about in other blog posts, um, the windfall elimination provision and the government pension offset. So I won't talk much about that here, but there's a possibility that you get may get uh, less Social Security or no Social Security at, at all because essentially you're not paying into Social Security. So if you look at your W-2, there's no Social Security contribution. So that impacts it. So what do you do here? Is that you can save in a 403B, 457, um, and then that you can use that to kind of offset um, the lack of Social Security or the diminished Social Security. Now, not all members of TRS um, don't pay into Social Security. Many do in higher education, for example, um, the higher education institutions, they pay into Social Security. So you can basically tell by looking at your W-2 when you file your taxes or your pay, your pay stub to kind of see if you're paying into Social Security or just talk to your HR department to kind of figure that out. If you're not, then you probably want to save more in a retirement account beyond TRS because Social Security just may not provide you much. I hope these three pillars were useful. Um, reach out to me on the contact page below if we can discuss um, how these three pillars fit into your retirement goals. Have a great day.